Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we are getting close here to being ready to declare on the Vor. I'm not sure if it'll happen this episode or not yet, we'll see, but we're definitely working towards that. So that will be absolutely great. I do want to make sure that all of our Bastions are upgrading, they are, good to know. And the UES Amazon is not currently working, but that is of course because it needs influence. So we're going to build the Hyper Relay here as soon as the month tick happens. Getting these Hyper Relays done is still of utmost importance for right now to the war effort. Specifically, these Hyper Relays up here don't matter too much. Getting the Hyper Relay... You're a protectorate under the four. We might end up fighting you. In which case... We're going to have a problem here. Whether these guys are actually going to be fought or not. I'm just looking around Vora space. Yes. Or right, that's a hyper relay. Do they have an Elgate? Technology discovered. I don't know whether the Vor have an Elgate or not. We need to be able to defend the Elgate. Okay. So, I mean, it would be really nice if there was a defensive mega structure that you could build specifically to stop people from coming in the L gate and then immediately going out to a different L gate. That would be nice. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Now, all of our L gates are defended. To be clear, we have citadels at all of them. So in theory, it should be fine. If they do that, that shouldn't be a big deal. Right? Right. Mm -hmm. That should not be a problem. The Merrimack requires orders, and at this point, its orders could be to go to Ilix, to Antic Rom, or down to Technology Wendell. For the discovered. moment, we'll head up to Ilix. That'll be just fine. Energy weapon damage upgrading. We're mostly going to go for cheapest complete. repeatable techs from here on out, but for now, complete. shield hit points will do. That's also the cheapest, which is convenient. Okay. So the Merrimack can immediately begin working on a Hyper Relay here. Cool. We should be able to get those pretty consistently constructing, in theory, at this point. That's fine. How many alloys can we bank up to? 55,000. So we're not too concerned about getting too many alloys for the moment. Good to know. If we do get close to capping, of course, we can start building defensive platforms. That is always a possibility. This Forge World requires a planetary administration, which we will go ahead and build. This one also requires a planetary capital, which we'll also go ahead and build. This Forge World will just put in an industrial district for the moment. This Tech World needs a job. We'll put in a research complex. Cool. And we're going to be negative on our exotic gases, of course. That's going to continue to be a bit of an issue. We're just going to buy in 10 at this time. Cool. Okay, so that's all good. The Amazon is done up over here and needs to move in over this way. We are about two months from it getting enough influence to finish that. Titan all points plus 2,000, always very, very good. Hmm. We're going to grab Whirlwind Missiles here, I think. Although... Yeah, we're not going to bother with Synthetics. Unless we basically have to, quote-unquote. It's not really have to. But unless we feel like there's no other options other than... Repeatable techs. Okay. Skeg Son of Goal is now our general. Cool. And we're going to move our transport fleet up to Pekshalika. Fantastic. So once we have the Vor integrated, we're going to be in a very, very good position. Yes. The singularity here is going to be good. Claims are going to be a thing for us, though. That's, that's going to be our main problem right now, is our only way to actually conquer Conquer things is with claims, although we could vassalize. Hmm.
Initiating communication. We definitely could do that. The Bill Knock are currently demanding that we be subjugated. We decline. They can't actually do anything about this because the Kalictora will... I believe we have a non-aggression pact with them, or did they guarantee us? Hang on. We need to find this out. Let's see. Uh, we have a non-aggression pact with the Kalictora. I believe they guaranteed us previously. Hmm. They're not at peace right now. The Bill Knock are quite a ways away. If they were to declare on us for subjugation, they would probably end up attacking through the L Cluster, even though I don't see any L Gates in their territory. Okay. Actually, they're not that big of a problem. Cool. Shouldn't be an issue. So we're going to head down to Chatib over here. We'll start moving. And we will also build a hyper relay in Furay. How long do these take these days? Has that been reduced in time? Discovered. I don't know. The Galactic Stock Exchange has finished up. We're to grab zero distillation. Fantastic. If the Billnock do attack us, we should be fine. And they're friendly and cooperative. I don't think they're actually going to attack us. I think we'll be okay. No real problem there. Especially when you consider that our defenses are reasonably strong as well. They're going to have a hard time with it. Quite a hard time. Now we can get a Juggernaut built. Do we have our assembly yards for that done? We actually do have our Colossal assembly yards done. So let's get a Juggernaut built here. Fantastic. That'll take a very long time, but we'll queue that up. It'll be nice to have the mobile shipyard. For sure. The Merrimack is needing orders, of course, and we will build a hyper relay here. Hmm. Filthy Dustikins. What can you offer us? A leader. They're still trying to give give us leaders. Okay. <laughs> We're not currently interested. The Bilnok do have fleets in our in our area right now. The Republic of Juawaktra has a reasonably strong force here. Okay, our mega shipyard framework is now done. The first stages of our mega shipyard is now complete. A vast framework awaits the installation of the manufacturing base, which will one day make this facility the shipbuilding capital of the galaxy. Excellent. Okay, so if we look at our mega shipyard framework here, it currently has five shipyards. So that's already a, a solid upgrade. Fantastic. So we currently have a 33% ship build speed increase. That's great. We will continue to upgrade this. There we go. And we are, of course, also building a science nexus up in Pash. We're also going to be building a few other mega things here. We're going to be building a mega art installation. Actually, the next thing that we build is definitely the strategic coordination center, for sure. That's certainly the next thing we build. Our terminal egress station is probably the single most important station to defend. So if we're going to spend alloys on defense platforms, it should likely be here. We're going to put in two ion cannons, I think, and just get that underway for the moment. We're going to have the alloys for another one here in a moment. There we go. So we'll just get those constructing for now. We have to make sure that the terminal egress station is defended. And hopefully those ion cannons will be long ranged enough to engage something at the L gate. I don't know that that'll be the fact, or that that will be a fact, but hopefully. Technology discovered. 
Okay, so what do we get here? Ah, zero distillation. Fantastic. Let's just grab global defense grid. That's a super fast upgrade there. And do we have any zero that we can actually grab? I mean, we've got this living metal back here that we should probably get at some point. The Kamurian Marauders are gone. Ah, there's the zero. Got it. Okay. Technology discovered. Well, there's our Whirlwind Missiles coming in. That's always very nice. We will next go for Robo Modding. Not that it's useful. The UES Amazon is going to head over to Amastis and build a Hyper Relay there. And then we're going to be done with our Hyper Relays over on this side. That's all of them that we need over here. So that's great. As soon as we're done in Amastis, we will come back to, like, Uram. And we'll grab our Living Metal. Fantastic. That should be a reasonably quick journey. And then we'll come over here and start building down this direction, which will Technology take a little, a little while, for sure. Global Defense Grid is already done. Fleet Command Limit doesn't help us. We'll grab Creating Penal Colonies, not that we're going to do it. And we'll head down to Antic Rom. Although we are currently lacking the influence, but by the time we get there, we should have it. Cool. So we'll build our Hyper Relay right now. There we go. As soon as we're done with that Hyper Relay, of course, we should come up and grab our Zero here. Fantastic. Let's check in on our colonies. It's been a little while. Yeah, this industrial world could use, well, some industry. We do have a Ministry of Production here. Okay, we'll put in an industrial district. For this industrial world, once again, an industrial district, I want to keep increasing our alloy gains. On this tech world, we need a specialist job. I'm going to put in a city district for the time being to unlock... Actually, we don't need it. The system capital complex will get us there. We're going to go for a research complex for the time being. Okay. On this generator world, we may actually want to put in an agriculture district. Our food is dropping a little bit. On this forge world, I would love to put in a ministry of production. That's currently not an option, I'm pretty sure. Actually, it is. Okay, we'll put in the Ministry of Production. Beautiful. Cool. So let's proceed here. Fantastic. So we're going to have that Juggernaut eventually. But what is the default Juggernaut design anyway? It's probably fine. Yeah, that's probably fine. The upkeep on it is pretty insane. No doubt about that. But that's okay. We should be okay on that front. So we're going to have to go after the Vor eventually. The major limiting factor to us there is the fact that we would basically need to subjugate them. And maybe subjugation is the correct way for us to, to do this. So we would do vassalization. Technology would be the overall idea. Okay. Well, we have robo modding done here. Next up, we'll grab devastator torpedoes. So that'll be fine. The UES Santa Maria lost its leader, and we'll put in Fred Weaver here. It doesn't really matter who we put in, because we're just going to assist research. Excellent. So we're banking up our alloys for right now. We don't expect the Vor to be particularly difficult to, for us to beat if all of our fleets are in the same area. Technology Which currently they aren't. So that's definitely something to consider. 
Leader lifespan is going to be convenient for us. That'll only be five months. Not too bad there. Excellent. And we will eventually get this up to size 200 maximum. Yeah, we're lacking our... We're lacking our Titan here. We'll work on bringing that up soon enough as well. So our construction ships will be finishing here. And I think we have our plan for how we're going to go after the Vor. The Slurpinor are already a vassal under the interstellar Ishni contact, compact over here. But we're very close at this point. Very, very close. We're now moving with our construction ships. We have now begun the massive undertaking of constructing a science nexus. The foundation is in place, and preparations are underway to add the main hub. The promise of new groundbreaking technologies and the realization of ideas beyond our wildest imaginations await. And though the road ahead is long and full of challenges, we've taken the first step. Could the endless mysteries of the universe finally be within our grasp? Yeah, they could. We're also going to build a strategic coordination center up over here. Now, can we upgrade in Pash right now? Well, we need alloys. We could potentially think about buying the alloys. Current alloy cost is really low. We'll definitely buy 5,000 alloys. That brought the, the price up, of course. I'm going to sell off a few consumer goods here. The price is very low there now. That's fine. Okay. So how much do we need to upgrade this? 15,000? That won't be too long. Technology discovered. Cool. Leader lifespan finishes up. Let's grab Naval Cap. Absolutely. Naval Cap is a very important thing for us to grab right now. And that's one of the reasons why we're focusing on building the Strategic Coordination Center as well. I'm a little surprised that it's allowing us to both build this construction site, upgrade the Mega Shipyard, and apparently upgrade the Science Nexus Hub. Oh, no, it's not going to let us. Okay. Yeah, we can only build or upgrade two mega structures at a time. I figured that would be the case. I didn't notice that in the tooltip a moment ago, but yeah, that's fine. I'm still okay with buying those alloys. The price was really good, so it's fine. We'll just keep those in stock. We'll need them eventually. This industrial world needs a planetary capital. There's also a lot of crime here, so we should consider putting in a precinct house. Okay, on this mining world, we've once again got a lot of crime here. We'll do a precinct house. Shield hit points have finished up. These are all repeatable techs, so we are going to go for the cheapest, which is building cost reduction. Cool. This forge world here could definitely use an... Okay, scum and villainy, sure. This could definitely use an industrial district. There we go. Construction complete. Excellent. So we finished an orbital station over here, and at this point we need to come back to Laloria. Uh, did we just enter that system? We did. Okay. There we go. We're grabbing our living metal as well. Once we're done with that, we're going to head over to Yidixa. And we'll just move there for now. We are short on rare crystals, so we may want to think about buying in some of those. Yeah, we'll, we'll do so. We've got plenty of dark matter, so we'll just trade some dark matter for some rare crystals, like so. Fantastic. And then we'll just build our hyper relay out here once we're done grabbing our living metal. Cool. So we don't have that many more of these to build. Wait, why would we build it in e Dixa? Answer, we wouldn't. We would build it Construction here. Complete. Okay. We have one in Merka, correct? We do. Discovered. Cool. Okay, so Devastator torpedoes are done. We still have a number of these components to build with, or rather to research with engineering, so that's fine. 
Cool. I wish we could do more mega structures simultaneously, but we are limited at this moment. Can we build a... No, we can't yet build a Ministry of Production here. So we will put in an Industrial District, but I'm also going to put in... A Hollow Theater, I think. Just because of our amenities lack here. That'll be fine. On this mining world, we mostly have to wait for a demotion, I think. Yeah, I think that's mostly what's going on there. We need a demotion. Honestly, same thing here. So that's all fine. Nothing really to be done there just yet. The question is, when do we want to go after the Vor? Well, we don't currently have a good way to get over here. Yes, we extend our curator research aid, for sure. We don't really have a good way to get over here yet, so we definitely wait until our hyper relay is at that point. Hyper relays can get us around fairly quickly. Not maximally quickly, but fairly quickly. So it'll be fine. I don't think we're going to have a huge amount of difficulty with the Vor. The only question I have is, do they split up this fleet or do they keep them together? If they keep them together, things will be slightly more difficult for us. Slightly. I would like to have a fourth fleet. That's for sure. That would be really, really nice. Of course, we can't really get away with that right now. Our, we're already over our naval cap. We do have our juggernaut. Where is our juggernaut? Oh, is it not done yet? It's not done yet. 53%. So we can definitely have our juggernaut, like, defending somewhere around here-ish. To hopefully pull them over this way and then get engaged by this station. That would be the idea. And it would also fill the Mega Shipyard position up, up here for now. We probably don't need to continue working on our Mega Shipyard framework for the moment. We'll want to get that maxed out eventually, but I think that the Science Nexus is the better way to go. Getting that upgraded, I think that's definitely going to be useful. So as soon as our Mega Shipyard site finishes its upgrade here in 30 days, we're going to work on the mega structures up here first. The Merrimack does need to build over an Alphard, which we will go ahead and do. Cool. We're building an eel now. Wonderful. So yeah, let's finish up the mega shipyard level two upgrade. So we'll have some shipyards up in the L cluster. There we go. Now 10. And then we're going to definitely get the Science Nexus upgrading here. Now, I believe there's an edict. Mega structure build speed. Does that affect... Does that affect things that have already been started? Let's find out. 2376, it does. Okay. That's going to be very expensive. Never mind. We're mostly not going to bother running that edict, I suspect. I think that's too... Well, actually, technically. Technically. I want to check something. 2358. And then the month tick has happened. So we turn on the living metal construction. Technology we tick forward discovered. one full month here. With that on. This would be extremely micro-intensive, but I want to see if it would work or if Paradox considered this. Okay, we pause here. 
we deactivate it. And now we should not lose any living metal. The question is... 2320. Okay. Uh, so it was 2358 previously. We ticked forward 30 days. That did save us 8 days. It's very micro-intensive, and I'm not going to do it, but it seems like it is possible to do that without actually spending the resources. Okay, we'll take synthetics here, not that we're going to use them. Cool. So that'll be fine. Our construction ships will be finishing up over here quite soon. Or at least this one will be. Once it's done there, we will build in Trappist, and I'm just going to queue up a bunch of these hyper relays so that we don't have to manually do this. Okay, that'll be fine. Cool. And then we'll finish up this one soon enough, and we'll head into Rotenev, but we're not going to be ready to get this all completed just yet. But we're definitely making good progress on getting all of our hyper relays done. That will be done soon, and we're definitely going to subjugate the Vor. Now, we don't know what's in this space, right? They may well have an Elgate. And if they do, we need to ensure... Okay, the Slurpinor are making a science nexus. We need to ensure that they don't use the Tunari Vortex against us. Now, we can definitely attack this with our Juggernaut. That is an option. Once we get our Juggernaut finished. Which, that will be done in 533 days. That will also buy us some time to get our Hyper Relays built up over this way. And get our logistics infrastructure a little bit more good to go. Hopefully. Hopefully. Fingers crossed on that one. It is, however, about time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to finish up our Hyper Relay Network. I think that's very clear. And we're going to look to subjugate the Vor very, very soon. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Kazerol, JJ Gamer, ALS Gamer, Kentuin, Jens Graham, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the Join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.